Hey, Ramesh, what's next? So now that we've seen what our microcontroller is capable of, that is interfacing with the real world, let's pick the most basic thing that we can interface. We're going to look at what it takes to interface a input pin. So in other words, we have our microcontroller. On one of these pins on our microcontroller, we're going to bring in a we're going to bring in an input and the simplest thing we can think of is a switch. So here's what a s actual diagram of this would look like on our on our MSP M0. So the good quick look of this is this is our microcontroller right here and this is the processor where things are going to happen and we have a little circuit here that actually brings the pin in right so here's our let's just connect a switch this is a very simple connection of a switch we'll learn more about it later but here's a switch that is interfaced to our microcontroller there's a reference voltage which is 3.3 volts let's say and it comes in and we have a, a, a io bus through which it is the signal is communicated to our to our uh, microcontroller. The actual pin we're interfacing is called port A pin 0. We'll call it PA0 for short. So that's the pin that we are going to bring our input to. So how does this interfacing work? At a basic level, we have our hardware that is in is bringing in a signal which is going to be a voltage this is some V in and our software is going to read it for the software everything has to be in terms of a digital value so how does that work well if our switch is open as it is right now then what are so the hardware state is open this is the physical state and the voltage for us is going to be a zero volts and the software is going to read a logic value of zero now if i close this switch if the switch closes then what my hardware state is now a closed state and the voltage that will read is 3.3 volts and the logic value is a one nice so that is, that is a physical reality of this circuit. But how does the software actually read this? When we say software reads it, the software has access to this, this state of this pin through a, through a memory mapped address, which means that somewhere there is a, there is a location, if you will, a memory mapped address, if you will, which corresponds, that corresponds to this particular pin, PA0. Now here's, here's uh, some, an address that will actually tell us exactly that. So if you look at this, this is mm. telling us how I, can in, how I can get the state of all the pins, all pins on port A. And turns out port A has 32 such pins and we label, we call them 0 all the way to 30, 31. And so the particular pin we are talking about is right now is this pin, which is the port A pin 0. Mm. So this one bit is going to correspond to a logic 0 or logic 1. So if I want to read, if, I, if let's say the switch is open, and if I read this bit, it should tell me that it's a zero. If the switch is closed and I read this bit, it should tell me that it's one. And this particular address is specific to port A. Nice, nice, nice. But what then, happens if I write to it? Can I make it change? So, well, that's a, that's a no-no in this particular case. I can't? Simply because the, there is the an input pin can only be read from. Oh. So you're telling me this is not real memory. 
This is not real memory and you can't affect the state of a switch by sending a one to it. This is a mechanical switch and it can only be change its state mechanically. So we can read, we can only read from an input pin. Cool. All right. So let's see what's next.